Okay, welcome everyone to this tutorial on how to rotate an object around a specified po point in Smart Notebook. You can see that on my Smart Notebook page, I already have a triangle. I've drawn this using the Shapes tool out of my toolbar. I filled it using purple just so that it's not an outline shape anymore. When I click on the triangle, you can see that the perimeter of this object is exactly very close to the edges of my triangle. I can see this by where the dotted blue outline box shows. In the top middle, I've got a green circle. This is my rotate handle. If I click it and drag, it allows me to rotate this triangle 360 degrees if I wish. But what if I want to actually rotate it around a specified point, such as the bottom left-hand corner of this triangle? What I need to do is change the perimeter of this object. And the way I do that is by going up to my area capture tool. It looks like a camera. And I get a popping up toolbar that appears. I'm working on a Mac, so this is what my pop-up looks like. Windows people will look slightly different. Most notably on the Windows side, directly under these four icons, you will have a sentence that says, Capture to a new page with a checkbox. By default, this is checked. You need to uncheck it. Mac people, for us to do that, we have to click on our Options link here. And way down at the bottom, we have Capture to a new page. I am going to uncheck that box and hit OK. On both operating systems now, I can select the very furthest left option, which is the area capture. I click on it, and then I click and drag around the perimeter of what I want my object to be now. So in this case, I'm going to draw a fairly large square, putting my triangle in the top right-hand corner of my picture, and I'm going to release my mouse, or my finger if I'm working at the smart board and it will insert an image of what I asked it to take a picture of right onto this current page that I'm working on. I'm going to click it and move it out of the way. I will now select my initial triangle that I had drawn here, and let's just go up to the drop-down menu and delete it. Okay, so now I have this new picture. When I click on it now, let's get rid of my area capture toolbar, when I click on it now, I can see that that dotted blue outline has expanded. So this means that this entire object is now as wide as I've made it for my liking here. If I click on this green rotate handle, you'll see that it will actually rotate the entire object, the entire perimeter, and not just that triangle anymore. Oh, and it goes really fast on Mac here. Okay, if I put it back to where it was... What I want to do now is actually make that whole white surface that I have currently around the triangle, I want to make it transparent. So I can put it over top of, say, a grid and math, and it's not just going to show a big white box. So again, making sure that this object is selected with that blue dotted outline, I am going to go up to Format and select the fifth option from the top, which is Picture Transparency. When I click on it, a little pop-up window appears that says click areas of the picture to make them transparent. So all I do here is I click exactly where it tells me to. So in this case, the white surface area, when I click on it, it fills it in with pink, which shows me that this entire area is now going to be transparent. When I'm happy with what I like, I select the op option for set transparency. Now, I am just going to go over to my Properties tab and fill this page of a color so you can see that no longer is this ob object filled with white, it's actually transparent except for the triangle. So now when I move it around, it actually appears to be rotating this triangle around a set point, in this case the bottom left corner. So where would I use this? Well, I have this activity that I've gotten off of the Smart Exchange. In this case, I have down here the second shape on this grid. When I click on the green rotate handle, it actually lets the students rotate this object around to see what happens and where it goes when they actually flip it around this center point. One other thing that you might want to consider just for um, efficiency in the classroom is that what this person has done is locked this object but still allowing it to move and rotate. So let's go back to our original page. I am going to go back to my Properties tab and put this page back to white so we can, <laughs> it's easier on the eyes. When I click on my object, a drop-down menu appears on the right-hand side. Whoops, let's make it straight. When I click on it, I am going to go down to the option of locking. 
and I get four options of which I've talked about before in the past, um, we are going to go to the very bottom option, which is allow to move and rotate. Basically now kids can't come in and actually resize this object. It's actually set to this size, but they can move it around the page and they can use the green rotate handle to rotate it around the point of reference that you've set. And that is it for today's lesson on how to rotate an object around a specified point in notebook. Thanks for joining.